Hey you guys, I'm Callie Smith, I'm top five female uh, pickleball player in the world. Uh, a lot of you guys have asked me what I do to train and stay in shape outside of pickleball. So I'm here working out at the Bucked Up Gym in American Fork and showing you my moves, I guess. Showing you what I've got, what I'm working out. <laughs> what I implement into my workouts is a lot of power lifting. Um, so that's cleans, uh, snatches, power cleans, hang cleans. Uh, I do those because they're, they're kind of all body uh, movements. So you get the most out of it uh, in as little as time as possible. Always put secure these bad boys on there. <laughs> this is a power clean. I use it, not only does it help my power on the court, uh, but it also gives me a great workout. My legs, my back, my arms, my core, kind of utilizes all of your body parts, and it's a great workout um, to stay in shape. It's a workout. <laughs> you can hear me, you can see that. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing back squats now. Uh, this is great for your legs. Great workout there. You got your glutes, your hamstrings. Um, legs are the biggest part of your body, so it's good to work that out. So a hang clean is, in my opinion, a little bit easier than a power clean. You just go just directly, just right above your knees instead of all the way to the ground. It's the same thing, clean it, rest it up on your shoulders. Good, because I'm done. <laughs> now we're gonna do a front squat. It's a little different than a back squat. Uh, it targets more of your quads versus your hamstrings. See the sweat right now? <laughs> yeah, that will happen to you too. <laughs> so this is a snatch, or a hang snatch. I'm not going all the way down, because uh, there's not enough weight to do a power snatch. So I'm just gonna go just a little bit above my knees and do the lift from there. Try to get as much power as you can. We're just gonna do a couple burpees, a few pull-ups, uh, just these different movements. They, they help get you in better shape, get you moving. So on a plank, there's, you can do a couple different variations. There's one where you just, everything's straight, you stand still. There's another one where you can bring your uh, knees up to your elbows. Um, there's another one where you can go up, hold for three seconds, and then back down, hold for three seconds. Um, another variation is you can go out and in, kind of toe touches. So you go out and in, back and forth. Something important that I want you all to know is working out is hard but it's a good hard. The more you move, the, the easier it becomes. Um, but it's always kind of a fight. I always try to push yourself to be a better version than you can be. Always try to improve, even just a little bit. So if you got 15 seconds on um, a workout, um, or like if you're doing a plank, if you have 50 sec 15 seconds, go for 20. If you get 20, go for 25. Always try to improve a little bit at a time um, and become the best you can be. Push your limits and realize you can do it. Oh. Thanks for joining me today in my workout. Uh, hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I know it's killer, but just one day at a time, one day at a time, but uh, I'm a 100% believer, uh, not only in taking care of your body off the court, but also in between um, with recovery. Uh, some of the things that I take, uh, first one is called this Organic Greens. I love it. Uh, you can mix it in your water. Um, I will either just put a scoop of it in my water and take it in the morning or I'll put it in my smoothies in the morning and I love that and my kids love it. So that's kind of a nice one um, that I can get them to eat their greens. <laughs> Another one uh, is this protein powder that's sweetened with stevia, uh, which I'm a fan of. I don't like to eat a lot of sugar and so this is great. Uh, it offers a lot of protein and uh, not a lot of sugar, so or added sugars. So enjoy and take care of your body on and off the court. Go get it.